It was the final day of the Copa del Rey Mafri here in Palma, Spain, and judgment day for many of the competitors racing here. Although every class still had races to sail, a few event winners had already been decided thanks to some standout performances yesterday that put a huge point difference between the leaders and their rivals. Having already had five days of racing here, the teams had a good feel for their boats and a measure of their competitors, but as always they made the most of their morning briefings to discuss conditions, tactics and last-minute observations before racing began. The very last of the preparations took place just before the start line on the Charlie course. The approach to the start line offers a last opportunity to trim and fine-tune the boats before crossing the line. The breeze was a bit lighter today, so there was also decisions on preferred sails to be made. The first race of the day for the IRC Zero fleet saw a divided start, with boats choosing both the committee boat side and the pin end of the line. Interestingly, both Shockwave and Stig selected the committee boat end before sailing up the course, whilst Allegra suffered a less than successful start, crossing the line early and being forced via radio to turn back and restart the race. In contrast to the IRC Zeros, the IRC 52 saw a crowded start with boats opting for the pin end and some crossing the line early. Choosing to go against the crowd was Rio as they headed for the committee boat end. The formidable leader Quantum also opted for a questionable start, taking the middle of the line and paying the price with a poor beginning to the race. The racing offered wonderful images from the Bay of Palma, with the Mini Maxi sailing downwind crossing the IRC 52s as they sailed upwind. All the battles taking place simultaneously and spoiling spectators for a choice as to which race to watch. At this point, Shockwave was still in the lead in the IRC Zero class, with Jethu and Allegra both opting for opposite gate roundings. Back to the IRC 52 fleet and Quantum were rounding the weather mark in fourth place. All of the boats sailed the first part of the downwind in line before splitting as they opted for different sides of the course. In the IRC 1 class, B2 had a perfect day today, finishing their regatta in first place overall, with Team Vision Future finishing in second and Speedy in third. Emma finished the day in fourth, while IFOS suffered a dip in form and had to settle for fifth place as their regatta came to an end. The winners of the Soto 40 class were Vamos Spain, followed by Portuguese team Antares in second and Chilean's Mitsubishi Motors taking the last podium spot. The ORC2 fleet saw the unbeatable Movistar, skippered by Pedro Campos, take the event win. Finally, the results for the J80 fleet saw Team Turismo do Algrava take the top spot overall after scoring two more bullets today. They had a huge lead over second place Delta Stone and Factor Energia in third. With the day's racing complete and the winners decided, the end of Copa del Rey was marked with a wonderful closing ceremony at the Cathedral of Santa Maria in Parma, where all of the teams received their trophies and prizes. The 32 Copa del Rey saw a full week of racing giving both spectators and competitors some great memories to take away with them. Some of the teams dominated their classes and some fought it out to the last. Thank you for being with us to enjoy the action and celebrate with the winners.